Boom, what up? Solo Kled only. Back to it some more. League of Legends actually own. Some dude on YouTube has been asking for a Kled video for like almost 30 days, so you know. Asking you shall receive. <laughs> oh. I have no idea how this matchup goes. Hopefully good, but Mundo is pretty insane right now. And I don't play Kled very much, so let's see if I can make this happen. Uh, don't put the point into W just yet. It's like this little gimmick that you do with this champ where you save it so you can remount. Ooh, I might all in off of that one. You're still gonna hold it? Now we take it. There we go. See how I had almost, uh, well, one more Q and I would have remounted. Well, Q auto, I would have remounted. Takes a little bit longer off the regular minions though. A little spicy play. We force out his passive on the first Q after we get the passive on the first Q. Oh. You get like five courage back every minion that you kill. So we'll, we'll get the remount here. All right, not bad. You can pop that potion too, but this is your passive. You can't stop it from going off. We're just trying to get the wave shoved in. Go team. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take that. Take that and bail. All right. Do I stay with one more wave? I have a potion and I chunked him already and got his passive. And the next wave gets me a Tiamat, which I feel like changes everything. I think I'm gonna try and do that. I should probably just pop this potion to be safe. We're not trying to give him an easy opportunity to hit that cleaver. And oh, I shouldn't have autoed. I shouldn't have autoed. I shouldn't have autoed. It's okay. We'll be able to remount in a second. Let's go get a ward down here to be safe. When you're in this mini form, you have to build this second bar up here. It's your courage bar. You get it by hitting the opponent, and your uh, W is uh, increased attack speed for the next four attacks. So if you auto your enemy. Four attacks, you're gonna remount very quickly. If he leaves right now, I'm absolutely cool with this. And that sound you hear is the uh, passive, or is the uh, W. And the fourth hit in the W is the one that does the most damage. This is great for me, bro. I'm just gonna shove this wave and he, he left again. I just push, reset, good to go. Oh, you can do that while you're mounting? That's sick. Probably not the most worth, I guess. Maybe you EQ afterwards. That actually might make it okay. Huh. Hold up. Ooh, choke it. Really gotta get the wave under tower. I don't have to, but I kind of have to. <laughs> if you can do it, you should. Because then the wave's going to bounce back to you, and you're going to be in a better position. Alright, huge amount of gold to spend. Item build, Ravenous Hydra, Eclipse, Death Stance, or Black Cleaver. Probably Death Stance here, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, boots, and this. E, moving back to lane. Cool. Yeah, so Q's your bear trap on a rope. If you hit it, and you stay within that circle that shrinks over time, it'll pull them towards you. And then E is a targeted dash. I mean, you can do it anywhere, but if you hit the champion, you get a second one. Sort of like Renekton, but the second one is only targeted to the champion. Nice. Oh, I actually got that one. Both of them. So we have ult now, so I think I want to be shoving. We can get the wave shoved out and then look for stuff. That stuff will be roams on the map. All right, wave shoved. Posture check. Sit up. Start traveling around a little bit here. Get a ward there. If we find the jungler, I'm pretty sure I can mess him up too. Check here. You can hug this wall, check here. Yep. Yeah. 
Honestly, kind of annoyed that it worked that way. <laughs> it was alright. I'm missing I should ult that. It's because they made all the stupid buffs to jungle. <laughs> like, oh boy, Kled jungle, yay! <laughs> oh? Surprised he didn't go for that. I would love to get a Q before the fight starts. Be able to pop his uh, passive. There you go. Oh, I still got hit. Lame. You pop potion here, it'd be okay. Oh no! Ow. I can't walk up until my W is back, because then I can't remount. You have to be really careful and not get hit. Well, there it goes. And you just flashed for a dismount. That ain't gonna work. Get a ward down so I don't get dove. Quite aggressive, my friend. Quite aggressive. Pretty sure I can just wait. You get movement speed moving towards your enemy when you're in mini form, dismounted. Man, I am so sloppy with my clicks, dude. <laughs> I am not intending to, uh... Oh? Man, he's so safe. <laughs> Let him get this one with Q. Ooh, we're gonna remount in a second. There it is. W. Should be good. Oh. Ooh, nice. I don't like get there in time. Oh yeah, Q this way. What am I doing? <gasps> okay. That'll do. I dodged my own teammate's ult. Not even my teammates could kill me! Let's go. <laughs> I don't know, man. The heat of the moment just... <laughs> I'm just... I'm just swinging, bro. I'm just swinging at everything. <laughs> uh, you'll get the courage off of the tower hits as well. Ooh. Might be a little deep there, Michael. Oh. Champ's sick! <laughs> what the hell? I hate this champ so much. <laughs> the remount stuff is so dumb, dude. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this champ drives me nuts. I rage so hard playing against it. Although I did get good after a while because I had to play, I always say this every single time I talk about Kled. I had to play uh, against Solo, or Solo. Soul Mario, who's like a challenger Kled player, like every season. Really good. And I would just get obliterated by him over and over again during these like Twitch rival events, which was like a streamer, content creator, people for League of Legends. You'd all play against each other on like random teams. And for whatever reason, every time we would do that event, uh, my team would scrim his team, whatever one he was on and whatever team I was on, we would just scrim each other. So I just get my ass kicked by him like 10 games in a row every day for like a month. It was, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got better at playing against Kled and I guess now I got better at playing Kled, but God, the champ is so frustrating. Cause the thing is when you're like a one trick Kled, the thing that you can really learn and abuse is the fact that you understand your remount mechanic way better than everybody else does. It's a similar thing with like a Lowy. Like, I understand a Lowy E way better than most people, and I can immediately tell if they know what the hell they're doing or not. Like if they, if I hit them with a Lowy e clone with the E, and they just sprint away when I have no way of killing the clone, I, I immediately know they don't know how to play. You know, and then you can just abuse the fact that you're playing the champion that they have no idea what to do against. And Kled's good, so being like a unique champion that's not played as much with a you know unique mechanic that it's kind of difficult to play against. And even if you know how to play against it, it's like the Kled is going to know how to play with it better than you know how to play against it. I didn't even get the proc! 
Damn, I got obliterated right there. That's a that's awful. <laughs> I was like, whatever. I'll take the tower shot. At least I'll get the uh, the Q proc so I can get his passive off of him. I guess not. Sorry, right, we have life steal with the Raven Hydra though. And obviously wave clear here too. Man, the Q applying the uh, it's the AOE damage. My Q's hitting for like three hundred, dude. It's wild. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Oh, he's overextended. Where do I ult though? Because he's going to go somewhere else. Hmm. I played that first part so bad. Oh my god, I played that first part so bad. Get back here! Why are you so fast, little guy? Oh, it's because I'm so slow in the mini form. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to see how this worked. Oh, that sucks. Okay, just gotta go back. Uh, regular ward, because I don't have any lane control while I'm in little mini form. All right. Yeah, not the best play ever, but, you know, we'll take it, we'll take it. Like, if you try to attack me right now, I'm going to get four hits off in a Q and remount. Now I won't be able to. So, like, if you're playing against Kled, what, am I, what are you looking for? The thing you're looking for is him to waste his W, right? He uses his W on the minion. Okay, now you have a huge power-up. Right now, it's like a 5.7 second cooldown, but earlier in the game, it was much longer. So you have like a large, maybe not large, but you have like a 10 second window where you can attack him when his W is not on off cooldown. And then that's what you abuse. Because you want to make sure you dismount him when he has no W. Because if you do that, then you can kill. He did more damage to himself with that uh, W than I did. <laughs> I like it. All right, I'm going Eclipse next. We'll get some components here. Mike. He walks up for that again. I think I can actually EQ him. Oh, I shouldn't have done that part. Uh oh. Uh, I got a kite until I have my W up. Now we're good. See how easy that is? There's four hits of that W. A Q, you're remounted. And then you can do stuff under tower, like diving here, because, oh, oh, pin. Because if we get, oh, all right. Oh, if you get killed by the tower, we dismount, and when you dismount, you become untargetable for a split second. And that untargetability makes the minions in the tower, or makes the minions uh, pull aggro from you. Well, I guess if this is a champion under tower, they'll pull aggro. The tower stops hitting you. It changes to something else. Now, if you have Ignite on them, it could immediately pick up on you again, or if you have, like, some bleed or something. Bro, this champ's kind of nutty. I'm smashing a Munda. Ooh, what's my old cooldown? 96, bro. No wonder Soul Mario was like, he was, dude, he would, like, back, and then I'd spam ping, and then he'd run an ult bot lane and get a double kill. I'm like, all right, well. <laughs> uh, struggle. This is odd. Oh, I assume they were doing dragon. Lo and behold, they're all topside. Uh, I mean, if you can get here somehow, it would be like the only way. Oh, wait, he's still alive? Bro, I'll be honest, I wrote the poppy off already. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I love how you can still dash off the corpse. I try to dash the other guy so I can go over the wall with him on the second one, but it's all good. No worries. Ward this. Ow. Oh, oh, oh. Uh... He's just gonna leave when I walk over there. <laughs> this is, I hate plays like this. Because if I don't go, Mundo's gonna keep fighting. But if I do go, I miss all my farm over here like I did anyways. And then nothing's ever gonna amount from this. 
the only thing that could ever come out from it is your team dies by overstaying. Like you're never gonna get the kill on Mudo. I walk over there, Mudo's simply gonna walk away. I hate those plays. Because the worst one is like your teammates get so angry. Not these guys, obviously, but in some other games, your teammates just get so mad. Like, why didn't you come and help me there? It's like, bro, it was horrible play. It specifically happens with your jungler. Like you have a giant wave at your tower and they try and chase somebody and then they fight like right outside their tower and they die. They're like, what the hell, man? It's like, dude, what? <laughs> the play was so bad. Of course I didn't do that. And the only reason it worked is because... Ooh, they yoink it. 18 seconds on ult. They don't spot me yet. Oh, I think they do because of the tower, huh? Well, now they definitely do. I'll ward here and walk this way. I have R and 2. Oh, if they split, that would have been awesome. It seems interesting. Hey. Oh, it worked! Cool! Big plays. I used the first guy to E2 and Q the other one. <laughs> Let's go. Alright. Kled kind of nice. Kled kind of nice. It's got a lot of mobility. You can make some plays on this guy. Honestly, not a bad champ to one trick, the more I think about it. Not that I necessarily want to. I already have too many chips. I think focus is more key. Because it's not too mechanically intense where it's like Riven and stuff where you're going to spend like 500 games and still have no idea how to play the champ. Yeah, take that old Jesus, bro. Alright, Death Stance or Black Cleaver. Uh, I mean... <laughs> damage. Get damage. I'll get Boots here too. Uh, Tabby versus team. Cool. Bolton 21, bro. Huh. Yeah, while you're doing the E, you can throw out the Q. And the E is like a targeted thing. So if I put my E like over the champion and I press it, it's basically going to make the Q go to the same spot. Because your Q is going to come out from the front of your hitbox, right? I mean, if <laughs> if you're aiming, the set, like you E and then Q, right? Your E is targeting towards the champion and your Q is coming out from the, the front of your hitbox. So your E is going to pull you so that the champion's right in front of you and then your Q is pretty much guaranteed. Like obviously the faster they are and the farther away you start the E and all that, like can affect it, but it's pretty guaranteed when you press E into the Q, especially if you're close. Let me go for a, a little hunting action. I still got the pull. Oh! Dude, I have no idea how this game makes it past 20 minutes. <laughs> I am obliterating people, dude. Oh my god. Hold up. Did they chase? Hide here for... Alright. There's a play if they chased. Dude, I am obliterating people. Is this up? Nice. You can have it if you want. Dun, dun. Oh my god, 500 damage, dude. Woo. Oh, I didn't do the big hit. Cool. Ow. Alright, let's go find Hecarim. <gasps> this poor guy. I don't think I'm do using those E's right there at all. <laughs> oh no, I did it wrong again, dude. <laughs> no. Bro, I am a little insane here. <laughs> I'm taking no damage, dude. <laughs> like seven health bars. Ridiculous. I could have done that right. I shouldn't have pressed my second E there, because I hit the Q onto this guy. I just had to follow him with just by running. Get this, get out. Maybe the wave? Damn. 
See, now my Debbie's on such a low cooldown. You have, like, no option to actually avoid it. Damn, you just get so snowballed. That's wild. Three seconds. Every four seconds, Gled's next attack gets 150% attack speed for four attacks. And then the last one does 60 damage plus 16.66% of the target's max health. And all that stuff's going to go up right now. Well, the cooldown's going to go down. Now it's on. A 2 point Wait, time out. Time out, what? Passive. Every four seconds, Kled's next attack grants this thing. But then the cooldown on, on it says 2.7 or 2.9. Time out. No, okay. It ignores your CD. It's always four seconds at least. Oh, it's kind of odd. I don't know why they would have it listed like that. How is anybody supposed to know that type of stuff? That's always what annoys me. <laughs> it's like, how, how, how am I supposed to know that without some guy who plays a champion a ton? <laughs> wild. Oh shit. Oh, I stopped hitting. Oh my god, dude. I didn't know you had to issue another command. I'm so stupid. Oh, I would have been fine. I eat right on top of this guy and I just like, hello. Oh, do we have to right click to attack? Oh, I didn't know that. All right. Well, maybe I should have autoed. That would have made that a little bit better. Almost made it in the end. I need one more hit and I would have healed up. Is it not for four seconds after the seven, the two point seven eight seconds? Well, I just read it to you. Look it. It says passive. Every four seconds, Kled's next attack grants one hundred and fifty percent attack speed for for uh, four attacks or four seconds. But then, if you look up in the top right hand corner up here, it says two point nine four seconds. And that same number is what my equal then is 6.47 seconds. What my Q is 4.12. So if it's four seconds and then it's, you know, has a cooldown, like. It's a bit confusing the wording. Yeah, it looks like four seconds to me. It would be, it would show a two. It speeds up everybody else who chases this way, too. Oh, I think I hit. Oh, I missed that. Everybody's dead. Never 14 and zero. <laughs> Facts. Love it. Nice. Grab this. Push, push, push. <laughs> Never 14 low. It's all right, man. I didn't want to leave it undefined. I wanted you to know exactly what my KDA was. We couldn't let it stay infinite. Oh, I missed that. No, 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 no. Surprised they don't get more aggro here when I'm dismounted. It's like, now's your time to shine, buddy. Ooh, smart. Chase him. E through and kill this guy. E back. Q. Chase. E. Q. Miss. Cry. Run through it all. 
Q. EQ. There you go. There's your Kled game. After 30 days of asking, was this enough? This man literally asked every single day for like the last, I think it's 29 days yesterday. I was like, Jesus, dude. On the first week, I was like, he'll give up. If he makes it like, you know, 15 days, I'll probably do it. So like 27, 28. He's a legend. Hopefully this was good enough, bud. GG, well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. First win of the day. Let's go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. That's some damage. You know, that's a little bit of damage. I want to see healing. It's a little bit of healing. A tad. Ooh, okay. Not, not a lot. Not a lot of self-mitigated damage. Champs OP, bro. GG well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you're watching on YouTube, like the video. Subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching on live stream, follow the live stream. GG well played. Thanks for watching. Peace.